On the OA-4 mission for the Commercial Resupply Services Program for NASA, the Cygnus Advanced Maneuvering Spacecraft will be lifted into orbit by an Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Cygnus was specifically designed to deliver pressurized cargo to the ISS. On this particular mission, we plan to deliver over 3,500 kilograms, over 7,700 pounds of supplies to the ISS. We expect Cygnus to remain on the ISS for about two months, during which time the astronauts will remove the cargo from Cygnus and they will replace it with disposal cargo. Once it's full, Cygnus will depart the ISS and safely enter the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean, ending the mission. The delivery of pressurized cargo and the removal of disposal cargo are critical services that Orbital ATK provides to NASA. The Cygnus spacecraft is comprised of two main modules. The pressurized cargo module houses the cargo which gets delivered to the International Space Station. The pressurized cargo module was designed and built by our partner, Talos Alenia Space in Italy, and arrived at the Kennedy Space Center in August. The second module of Cygnus is the service module, which is essentially the brains of the spacecraft. It houses the power subsystem, the computing systems, the propulsion systems, and all of the other housekeeping equipment that enable Cygnus to fly. The service module arrived at the Kennedy Space Center in mid-October. Once the initial cargo has been loaded into the cargo module, the two modules will be mated to create the complete Cygnus spacecraft. On this mission, we'll be flying the first of our enhanced Cygnus spacecraft. The enhanced Cygnus has a longer cargo module to allow us to carry more cargo to the space station. It also has a lighter weight service module. One of the main features of the enhanced Cygnus is its Ultraflex solar rays, a new technology solar ray developed and built by Orbital ATK's Goleta, California facility. After the modules have been mated, we will load the service module with the fuel it requires to fly the mission. We will load the remaining cargo, and the spacecraft will be ready for launch, which is scheduled for early December. Orbital ATK is looking forward to continuing our delivery of vital supplies and scientific experiments to the crew on the International Space Station. <laughs>